What the hell is this? What is this? Why? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Good morning! You don't know it's morning, but it is morning where I am. Yes, I am driving, but I am being very careful. If you're new here, my name is Alicia, some folks call me Lou, and today I'm going to give you a tour of our new to us fifth wheel camper. If you haven't seen my last few videos, I'll link them below. My family and I, we just sold our home in New Orleans in exchange for a life on the road. We just bought a 32 foot fifth wheel camper that will be our new home. And our plan is to renovate the camper from top to bottom while we travel to us. So a few days ago, we bought a 2009 Forest River Wildcat fifth wheel. It's 32 feet long. It's got two bedrooms, one bath. We're currently staying with my mom and we have the camper parked and set up at this cute little campground not too far from my mom's place. I'm on my way to the camper now. I need gas. I'm going to get gas first. Okay, I don't know if they have diesel. Okay, we're gassed up. I just gotta say, it is so weird driving this giant truck. It is an F-350, which my car before this was a Toyota Prius. <laughs> trucks like this one that I'm driving would literally like drive past me and unload their exhaust in my face just for the fun of it because they hated Priuses for some reason. I don't understand. I'll never understand, but um, it's just funny how the tables have turned. Anyway, wow, tangent. So. We won't be sleeping in the camper just yet. We're not there. Um, I will not feel comfortable sleeping in this thing until we have thoroughly cleaned it top to bottom. We're actually still staying with my mother, sleeping there, and our plan is to go to the camper every day and just do some deep cleaning, get used to the ins and the outs of setting up the camper. So since I'm heading up there anyway, I figured I would just give you guys a little tour, show you around. Our plan, like I said, is to completely renovate. And I wanna give you just the full tour before we rip anything out, before we start this renovation, so you can see, and just as a record for myself, where we started. Here we are. Walking up to the camper, you can just smell the age on this thing. Just like a fine age cheese. It's something else. And what's immediately noticeable is just the amount of brown they chose for the interior. Not sure if this was trending in 2009, which is when our baby was born, but someone at the factory thought that this much beige and brown was a good idea. So here we are. We've got a lot of deep cleaning to do. You know, we're eventually gonna pull out the carpet and the, the vinyl flooring there, but I'm hoping to refinish the floors first before we do anything else, just to kind of get that base for ourselves to work off of because everything is sort of sitting on the flooring and yeah, that's, that's the base. So we gotta get that right first. We have a big, I think it's called a super slide. This thing is about 12 feet long and three feet deep. So you can fit a sofa and a dinette in here. You know, originally this thing had a built-in dinette and a jackknife sofa, which is a sofa that folds into a bed. But whoever owned this thing before us 
decided to take those things out and just sort of left us with pretty cheap futon and another very cheap dining table. The dining table is, it weighs like five pounds, so it must be made of um, styrofoam. Definitely plan on getting rid of that thing. The camper is 32 feet long and it's two bedrooms, one bath. And the layout is one bedroom over here, which if you watched my last video, you know that one of the things on our wish list was to have Poppy's bedroom separate from the bathroom and toilet area. As you can see here, if this were to be our bedroom, that means Poppy's room would be on the other end of the camper next to the toilet and the shower and the vanity. So our plan is to turn this primary bedroom into Poppy's suite. That way she'll be away from the noise of the bathroom and she'll have her own like designated area. We can shut the door at night and hopefully sound won't travel as much into her space so she can get sleep and we can like buffer the sounds coming from the kitchen and the bathroom area. The quality of light in here is really fantastic. You can see we've got that little transom window above that super slide. We've got skylights in multiple areas. And once we get rid of a lot of the brown on these walls, I think the space will feel even bigger. So I'm just really looking forward to covering up 90% um, of this brown color. And this is fun. This is fun. We've got a little clock, a little built-in clock. Look at that. So you never have to look at your phone to see the time, it's just always right there. And it's got its own border, own custom wooden border. What? What was going on in 2009? I don't remember this design trend at all. And now we're going into the area that's above the fifth wheel where it hitches to the truck. And this area, as you can see, is currently set up as a bunk room. Now, if we had more than one child, I think it would be perfect. But since there's just one of her, our idea is to, like I said, move her room across the way and turn this into our master suite. We'll be able to come in here and take a shower at night, not worry about waking up Poppy. You know, if this were to remain her bunk room, we would just have to tiptoe around anytime we needed to brush our teeth, use the restroom, yada yada. Look at this scary, dark, brown toilet room. What were they thinking? It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. The border, the wallpaper border just really baffles me. Hmm, never understand. Anytime I start a new interior design project, I like to create a 3D model of the space so I can like tinker around with all the things, see what pieces of furniture might fit, easily reconfigure, you know, kitchen spaces, bathroom spaces. So that's what I've done for our camper. And I'm just really excited for this first pass at the renovation elements. And I'm excited to share it with you. Here we are in the model and I'm standing where the dining table, the dining area is looking at the front door to the camper. To the left of the entry door, I wanna do just a simple Ikea shoe storage. I think it would be great to just have a designated spot to put our shoes. You know, we're tight for space in the camper. So any free wall space, I want to have some kind of storage element. So I'd like to do the shoe cabinet there. And then above that, some kind of coat rack or coat hooks where we can hang purse, backpack, car keys. I think this will just generally be, you know, the spot where you come in and dump your stuff. And then moving into the kitchen, you can see I've straightened up the kitchen counter. So as it exists now, there is that sort of corner countertop element where the sink is at a diagonal and you've got that big bulky overhead cabinet. So I wanna get rid of that overhead cabinet because honestly, every time I've been in the camper, I have bumped my head on that thing. So I wanna take that out, rip it out. It's ugly, it's gotta go. And I wanna just straighten up that countertop and make it an L-shaped counter. I wanna move the sink to that little leg on the countertop. And I think an apron front sink will be nice. And I'd also like to have 
the, I believe they're called workstation sink. And what's cool about the workstation sink is there's a little lip that runs around the top edge of the sink where you can inset cutting boards and drying racks and other cool things. And it basically just becomes an extension of your work surface. So definitely want to try to get that in there. Another thing I'm really excited about is this area here on the right. It's currently an entertainment center with storage around it. And we think it's a little overdone. So we're going to rip that out and just make this little nook over here an extension of our kitchen space. So we're gonna extend that kitchen countertop all the way to the right and below that I'd like to do one sort of traditional lower cabinet and then to the right of that I want to leave it clear and have some kind of rolling kitchen island prep surface that we can pull out when we need the extra countertop space and tuck it back in when we're traveling or when you know we just want more space in the kitchen but I think that's going to be really clutch to have to extend our prep surfaces and it'll also have storage underneath and then speaking of extending our work surfaces I'd like to do and you you see this often in in campers for some reason ours doesn't have this feature but I want to add it in there we're gonna do a flip top countertop um, so it's it's got hinges underneath that little extended countertop there and you can just flip it up if you need more prep surface and flip it back down when you're done when you don't need it anymore and I think this will just be awesome for us you know we like to cook Ian really likes to cook so I think any additional countertop space we can have is going to be well used and well loved. I also want to do some floating shelves just below the upper cabinets and these will be for things like salt, pepper, olive oil, things like that that would normally sit on like a dolly or a lazy susan on the countertop but since we're going to try to maximize our countertop space I'd like to sort of pull those things off of the countertop so that's where those things will live. I'll probably do some kind of decorative railing like maybe like a brass rail to keep things from shifting around falling off the the shelf when we're in motion but that's the idea behind those open shelves and then I think with this just overall the flow in the kitchen is so much better in my opinion it makes a lot more sense to just straighten it up like this and we gain I don't know 300% more countertop space and I think even though we're getting rid of a big overhead cabinet I think we have even more cabinet space above if not more than the same amount so I think it's gonna work wonderfully. And now we're turning to look at our lounge area and our dining area. And we're going to change it up and do a corner dinette. And it might be a challenge to get into the dinette on the left side there, but I feel like this just kind of opens up the space a little bit more so you don't have a dinette back against your sofa. That's the idea here. Just keeps it nice and open. And then to the left of the dinette, we've got an Ikea sectional that it just fits like a glove. And what I love about this sofa is it's, it's got a cool like retro feel to it. Love that. And then for the lighting in here, I'm, I'm still on the fence, but I just dropped these two. These are supposed to be like glass globe pendants. The idea is that we're gonna do some kind of hanging light for sure over the dining table. Get rid of the hideous light fixtures that are currently in there. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Okay, these, oh, can't wait to rip these out. Oh my God. You should see the light that these emit. It's the worst. It's like blue light. Who wants to live with blue, blue lights in their face? Oh, you're going bye bye. And then for all of the windows in the camper, I would like to definitely tear out the god awful, the hideous valances. Is that what you call them? I don't know what I don't know what they're called. Valance. Um, we'll call it a window treatment. We're gonna tear all of those window treatments out that are currently in the camper. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I want to do something clean and simple, like a bamboo Roman shade, maybe even custom Roman shades with custom fabric. I'm not sure yet, but we'll do something that is room darkening, but also very minimal and just clean. So let's move into Poppy's Suite.
I'm calling it a suite, but it's just a room. So walking in, you can see her toddler bed fits perfectly in this nook over here. And this nook is actually a slide, so it slides in and out. The bed is just this really cute velvet toddler bed from All Modern. We actually bought this secondhand from Facebook Marketplace, but the dimensions work perfectly for this slide out. So we're gonna do that. And over here, I also found this dresser set from Ikea and it also fits perfectly against this wall and it's got an open armoire above a drawer set and so it's nine drawers total which i think is awesome because we can keep all kinds of things in here so i think for the price and just the fit this is perfect now it's ikea so i think our finish options are going to be just plain white or gray so we might do an ikea hack paint it maybe add our own hardware on here to make it feel a little special but that's the idea and I'm really excited and here I think it'll feel really nice to do some hanging curtains on both walls just to soften it up and give us an opportunity to have fun with some fabric color and pattern maybe I'll do this maybe I won't but I thought the idea of having curtains on both walls was nice to just kind of soften it up and give us a chance to have fun and play around with color and pattern in here okay Moving into the primary suite. Now I mentioned, you know, we're swapping these bedrooms. So this will be our primary suite area where we'll have queen bed and some kind of closet space. And then obviously the vanity, the shower and the toilet. So my thinking was once we get a queen mattress in here, we still have a little bit of space between the edge of the mattress and the vanity. So I thought we could build these, I think they're about 12 to 14 inch wide. It's essentially like a closet um, just a very small one so we'll have the clothes hanging rod a shelf above for storage and then a drawer below for storage as well and here in the sleeping area I'm going back and forth about what to do with the foot of the bed we've got about 14 inches of space to play around with and I think we could do some kind of storage in this area but I'm still tinkering with that so uh, stay tuned but it is cool the queen bed actually fits kind of perfectly back here and we just need to maximize the storage in this area so that you know we can get the biggest bang for our buff the idea is to replace that bathroom vanity get a new mirror have some kind of floating shelf below the mirror and eventually we'll redo the tiling in that shower area, maybe replace the shower door. I don't know, we're gonna see. We might hate living on the road, y'all, and uh, this might be cut short, but the long-term plan is to redo the tile in the shower and put some kind of storage in the toilet room. Right now, I haven't modeled anything because I'm like, this is not first priority. So that will come later on down the road. Like I said, I'll just keep detailing this model out and adding to it as we start making more and more decisions. I'll use this model to help me decide which colors I want to use. So this isn't the last time you're going to see this model, okay? And that's where I'm going to end it today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more camper renovation content. I love you. Bye.